Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and welcome to Dalmavon Peak, the map where I prey upon the little kitties and the little carls that parachute down from the cliff and don't expect anybody to be there. I'm like this Wild West slash stealth assassin that's just always just sitting there. Just, just when you think you're safe, just when you think you're safe, parachuting down from that majestic peak up at the top of Dalmavon. I just sneak up and I take your sandwiches, night, night, and you, you totally think I'm not going to be there, but I'm always there. I'm always there. It's not... It's the opposite of the cake song, you know, and please excuse Carl on the right-hand side of your screen. He just died. I think you can see the skull over there. He's having sort of an off day with the parachute. I believe his name is... He's a new guy. I can't really pronounce it. Is it Baumgartner? Well, oh, okay. I, he's some new guy that has no idea how to jump with a parachute. That's... Please excuse him. He, he'll respawn in a few seconds. It's not really a big deal. But here's victim number one. Like, look. I can't really see him, but see... He got shot before he even got... Boom! He's, that's almost like Batman Volume 2. I'm the goddamn Batman. Okay, here's victim number one, right here. Carl is just... I don't know what he's doing. Like, this is what they always do. They always expect no one's gonna be there. And then I just come around and just... Night, night. You ready? I don't approve of your conduct, Gotham. Give me your sandwich. Oh, the other thing is... The other thing is that I'm obviously wearing black camouflage. And I'm... I don't think I blend in with anything. I mean, that's sort of a night camouflage, right? But I don't think I really blend in with a whole lot. And, okay, I get him once. I, I get him a second time. I get him. How, how do I get three hit markers with this thing? I don't get it. But I believe I clean him up here with the... No, somebody else got him. But yet again, lurking under the cliff. If you get here early enough, you can capitalize on it and you will just destroy everybody. Just everybody. It's not even a joke. But the one caveat to that is that... If you're really slow getting out of your spawn, the guys that are parachuting down are going to parachute behind you and just wreck you. And that's that's something that can easily happen. And there was also there was this huge gap vest, and I thought I had C4. I was expecting that I was running the support kit, but I was like, wait, 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 what? Uh, I was expecting C4 because my brain thought, wait, MP7, why don't you use that with a support kit? I get one gentleman here, there's another, he wants some too, so I give some to him, and then there's... I don't know why the chatty Cathy's all come around this pipeline thing, but there's a third guy, and it's just Mr. Bones' wild ride. It doesn't stop. I know, Dad, I want to get off. It, it, it doesn't stop. And I kind of like these servers that are 150 tickets, especially on the defending side, because I can almost... I don't know, sometimes it's more fun than 75 tickets where, oh, this game lasted four minutes. Awesome, okay, I get one. Okay, I get one gentleman. I get a second gentleman. I get a third gentleman. And then, okay, so that's that's the end of it. I decided to pick up a random kit because who doesn't like variety? Look at that gab fest. Like, every single one over here. It's such a chatty Cathy. Like, why are you... Why must you group up like this? I'm all for squad play, but sometimes you just gotta put a team on your back, though. For real, though. Okay, so... I'm not saying that I'm very good with the AEK, but I'm saying that it's not very difficult to be good with the AEK, especially with something like a Cobra laser sight grip. This thing destroys everything. And, okay, there's the one exception of the FAMAS, but still, the FAMAS is like, you just don't have to tolerate the FAMAS, alright? You know what I'm saying? Like, the FAMAS is, oh, yeah, it really treads you in close range, but if you're beyond three inches from the guy you're just gonna destroy him because his recoil goes everywhere his spread goes everywhere and his in general he's gonna run through his magazine faster than you can say where are all my bullets and why is my face bleeding seriously like you can kill the people that are using famasas so quickly it's it's not even funny but look at this chatty kathy convention gab fest volume two over here i don't know why they felt the need to keep coming to this side now i understand when you're trying to penetrate the mind of the enemy there's a few things you think about like Okay, I get one gentleman, I get a second gentleman. I think the recon kills me here, though. No, okay, I get a third gen- Oh, no, actually, that gentleman got himself. My mistake. I think somebody shot him, or he blew him- I'm not sure. I'm not gonna embarrass him saying that he blew himself off. I'm sure his mother would not enjoy that very much. I get another gentleman, and it's like- I don't know, I think a recon gets me somewhere around here. I couldn't find the guy. There was an orange triangle on my- There was a Dorito on my map that I just couldn't find. I couldn't find him. I don't know- where he went, I don't know if he was in, like, some little nook and cranny of that bulldozer. Uh, I don't know if it's called a bulldozer. I think it's called a loader or something. But there he is. Okay, that guy respawned somewhere. Because I remember I killed him a few seconds ago on that same hill. So I think they have a... I thought they had a beacon somewhere over there. And it just... There came a point where I just knew exactly where that was. And it just over and over and over. I just came over and killed them, like, repeatedly. And it... Very good spawn point, I have to say, by this squad mate. It wasn't... 
I'm not going to say it's really all that difficult to get over here because your spawn is still pretty close, but spawning on a squad mate this close, very, very good. And I uh, barely got in bounds. This was not the most advantageous position for me to be running over here, but I didn't even think, I thought that guy was dead. I was like, why are you laying there? That's, that's, you at least get some green camo if you're going to lay there. So I get one gentleman, I get a second gentleman, I get a third gentleman, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. MP7, when you flank, is so deadly. Not only because flanking on Dalmov on peak is deadly if you do it right on the defending side, but also, too, using the MP7 one-on-one -on -one is extremely good. The cloth monster tried to follow me and stab me, and I was like, his buddy comes, like, come here, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Enjoy your MP4 12 Rex. Like, both of them were trying to stab me. It's like, if I am on the move, or if anybody's on the move and you're trying to stab them, don't. If they're stationary, that's a little bit different, but I just said, Man, I'm not gonna let you shoot at me. I took him and I threw him on the ground. You can't kill me, Recon, man. I got another guy over here. It's just like, I'm an adult, all right? You can't kill me, especially when he's running that far away. Like, okay, this is my rule of thumb that I just want to repeat. If he is moving, don't go for the knife. Do not try to take his sandwich. If he's stationary like a Recon, there's the same Recon coming back for more, Mr. Baconator. I... I believe I have a coupon for you somewhere in my wallet that I haven't used. I'm pretty sure it's expired because I got it I got it a while back, like a really long time. I think it was sometime this summer when I was in like Petawawa or somewhere like that, like a really long time ago. Now I'm feeling regretful because I wasted and I didn't use a coupon that I had for a Baconator, which is a legendary sandwich that I definitely should have eaten, but whatever. I'm not really all that sad about it. And that helicopter got destroyed by that guy. And... Please don't call me a catfish for using the MP416. Oh, that Rex! Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And, okay. So, don't call me a catfish for using the M416. It's just something that I happen to pick up. I'm not intending to use the really over... Not overpowered, but very, very... Uh, I want to say oversaturated weapons in terms of what people use generally in their loadouts. Like, I'm not trying to use the most popular weapons in the world. It's just what people use really frequently. So, if you pick up a kit... Most likely it's going to be Assault, and most likely it's going to be one of the... It's either an M16, AEK, or M416 a lot of the time. So know that I'm trying to keep the weapon mix up as diverse as I possibly can. Come here, Mr. Cloth Monster. Did you see that guy? M02 Pro crouch walking. So I said, whatever. I'll take up his 50 cal or whatever this is. I'll go quick scoping. Let's, let's do it. And there is one guy that gets it directly in the heart later on. Look at this. Okay, so I decided to go back to my tactic of... I thought they were pushed back a far ways, and I thought a lot of them will be spawning from their attacker deployment, so that I decided to come all the way back here. Now look at this. Man, if you're gonna stab me, just stab me. I threw him, give me your sandwich, dog. I was like, you know what, man, if you're gonna stab me, just stab me, but whatever, if you're gonna let me stab you, okay. 10 out of 10, would stab you in the face again. Don't, don't worry, I would do it any other occasion that I would get the opportunity, I would stab you again. And look at this guy, okay, so. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't get him the first time. But then that second shot just... Boom! Right in his chest. Ow. Ow. I was going for the headshot, granted. I don't know if he took any sort of damage before I shot him, but I definitely know that he's dead now. So, I might have a problem, and he might have a problem, but the one exception is that he has a bullet inside of him now. So, no matter how, about how bad my problem is, he has a problem and then a bullet inside of him. So... I think I'm better off after that exchange. Despite the fact that I'm the only one that shot him, I feel that I'm better off. And I, I don't know exactly how that works right now in terms of which sniper rifles one shot to the body up to a certain range and which ones don't, which ones you need a headshot for one shot. Kill, I'm not really certain about that. But I think that's the only impressive sniper shot that I pull off in this game. I, I couldn't really find any other kits that I was interested in. You'll notice that sometimes I'll kill somebody and I'll stumble across their kit and it's like, you know what, this is an M16. I don't want to pick this up. I'd rather just use... Yeah, I want to increase the diversity and the variety of my weapons, but I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use whatever I have. It's it's just not worth it. And you thought I was going to hit that guy. Isn't that one of those, like... And I don't know how I didn't kill this guy here. I think I was... I think that guy just killed him and I was shooting at him as he was falling down, but... I could tell you totally thought I was going to kill that guy with that like quick scope, drag scope, split feed, optic headshot thing. I don't know what they call it nowadays. I'm not really well versed in the Call of Duty community. But you thought I, like that shot looked like it was going to hit. At least in my opinion. But I, I guess it didn't. I guess I'm just terrible with a sniper rifle and I can't do anything correctly. And I knew there was a gentleman up there. So I thought how exactly am I going to approach this situation? Even with four tickets left. And... He gets really close, right? He gets really close, and I, I don't eventually end up getting him, but it's just... Go! 
got him for the last kill. I stuck that love in 44 beneath my head. That song. I actually put that on my iPod this morning, which I, I really do not regret at all. It's like 10 out of 10 would put on my iPod again. But I want to thank you very much for watching. And one last thing. For those of you that listened this far, I will do a Q&A video. A lot of you, on you know, on the thank you video where I showed you guys what I look like, I was like doing that vlog. It's not a vlog. I don't like calling it a vlog. Whatever. A lot of you asked me a lot of questions or if I would do a Q&A video. So now is your opportunity. Let's say for Halloween, on Halloween, I will upload a Q&A video about whatever questions you guys want. Like, whatever. Like, where I'm from, what my computer specs are, what I think of Battlefield right now, whatever you want. So ask me whatever questions you want. I'll have a Q&A video for you guys on Halloween, and I might even show you my costume. So I'll see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later.